Hello ladies, welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing some awesome tips on how you can find your own signature style and create your own personal style aesthetics. When I hit 30, I really wanted to kind of stand out in the crowd and create my own personal style that represents my personality. Moreover, I wanted to build a wardrobe that I will keep loving for years to come compared to, you know, buying it for a particular season and then hating what I bought when the next time I look at it. Now, if you are kind of also done with following trends and things that everybody else is doing and you want to build a timeless wardrobe, then this is the perfect video for you guys. These tips will help you transform your wardrobe and build a closet full of clothes that actually work for you and will continue to work for you for years to come. If you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you never miss any of these videos again. In my 20s, I would literally wear whatever a model is wearing or I see on a mannequin because if it looks good on her, it would look good on me, isn't it? But that's not necessarily your personal style. Your personal style is actually your go-to style. It's the outfits that you naturally would put together when you're in a hurry and it would actually come naturally to you when you're putting them together. Now we naturally do this, but you don't have to categorize your style at all into classic or casual or bohemian or whatever. In this current age, all of these styles are actually blended and that's what I love about them. Let me give you guys an example of my style. I have noticed that my go-to style is classic structured style, but I also love bohemian style. Now, a great way to come to a conclusion is giving yourself a month or so where you take pictures of all of the outfits that you're wearing, especially the outfits that you put together in a hurry. I also have a blog post which I have linked below which has a free worksheet that you can download and do all of these steps easily. The key here is not to jump into any conclusions quickly. Take all of the pictures, gather the pattern and understand what your go-to style is. In this blogger's age, where every blogger tells you to wear whites, blacks or neutrals, it's kind of really tough to ignore them. Now, if you are a beginner who is building her wardrobe, it's a great advice, trust me. But that's not the only color palette you should stick to. Now find out what is your color palette. Colors that you tend to naturally, you know, gravitate towards, you love wearing them, they look great on you, and colors that you would normally combine together and wear. Comment below what is your favorite color or colors that you own the most clothing pieces of. I naturally go towards reds, yellow, and pinks. Those are my go-to colors and that is part of my color palette. And I really do not like neutral colors because I really don't look good in neutral colors. You can do this easily by creating an inventory of your favorite pieces and looking for a color aesthetic that you naturally love. There will always be colors that you will naturally wear more than other colors. This is the most important part of creating your own personal style. You need to know what are your basics. Now you need to find out what are your go-to pieces. We all have different lifestyles and work styles and based on that, we make our clothing choices and what are the outfits that we wear. But at the same time, we also like to wear certain items. Blazers are actually my go-to outerwear style. Now, as you can see, if given a chance, I would go for a blazer compared to any other outerwear piece. Now, I also prefer graphic tees compared to basic white tees. So I tend to buy more of the graphic tees compared to basic white tee or black tee and those are actually my basics. Comment below and tell me what are your basics. 
what are your go-to pieces that you put together and create an outfit when you are actually in a hurry and still want to look stylish this is really important because this is what sets your style apart from everybody else's it can be that amazing red leather jacket or that colorful bag that you love carrying and take it out specially for those special occasions. Now, you need to pay attention and see how these statement pieces actually fit into your closet. You should be able to put together at least five different outfits with these statement pieces. And that is where you create an amazing signature style. What is your one statement piece that you love taking out on that one special day or occasion when you want to feel special? Comment below. Now, in this age of Pinterest and Instagram, we tend to, you know, get attracted to clothes that we see look good and attractive on somebody else. And we just instantly buy it. Now, there's another side to it. Some of us probably always stick to a certain style of clothes without even experimenting or trying out another silhouette or another style that might actually look good on them. I used to think skinny jeans is the only way to look stylish till I discovered slouchy or relaxed fit jeans. And I cannot be more grateful to be able to experiment with that particular style because now a relaxed or a slouchy jeans is actually my go-to signature style and I really find myself being really comfortable in it and I think I also look really good in it. Wearing what flatters you is a combination of two things actually. Finding pieces that actually fit you properly as well as pieces that flatter you. And you can easily find a combination of both of them. Find that sweet spot in between and you will realize that you not only love what you wear, you want to flaunt it. And that, my friend, becomes your signature style. When you pick out all of these pieces and are experimenting with them, you need to remember to also be comfortable in them. If you're not comfortable in a clothing piece or in an outfit, it actually also shows in your overall personality. You don't have the confidence that you should have and it reflects in your overall appearance. Trust me. You may be able to rock that bodycon dress amazingly, but if you are not feeling comfortable in it, it's going to reflect in your overall personality. And you might actually never wear that piece again, which is such a waste of money. Why not put it towards a clothing piece that you are actually comfortable in it and you would love to wear and rewear it again. So when you are trying to find your signature style, don't forget to put comfort as a top priority as well. I hope these tips will help you find your signature style and flaunt them. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and please click that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss any of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!